Okay, this app is called Dexteria, and it is an app that is uh, developed uh, by um, uh, an occupational therapist or occupational therapists, and it is to um, help develop fine motor skills. And I've used this a few times, and uh, I'm going to um, start off by just opening up the options here. Restore default settings, clear best times, provide feedback. Uh, let's go ahead and clear this so we can start right over so I can show you everything about this um, really very impressed by this app three different things tap it pinch it and write it uh, let's go ahead and start with tap it to start spread your fingers and place your fingertips on the screen calibration complete to put your thumb on the anchor dot okay now this is moving your thumb tap the other dots. This is a little hard for me to show you with my hand being in the picture the whole time so what I'm gonna do is I'll do a couple and then I'm just gonna put my I'm just gonna go through it with my finger on the anchor and pretending the hand is on there okay so you put your thumb on the dot and then the finger that corresponds the with these dot. lines has to touch that dot and release it. Okay, so you get the idea there. Keep your thumb on the anchor. So we're just going to pretend this is my thumb, and these would be the fingers. But we're going to go through these projects just to show you. There are ten levels, and they get progressively harder. The dots Put get smaller. Now remember, you're doing this with your thumb on the dot. And the reason I just want to go through this quickly to show you is because the levels on here are absolutely great. They get progressively harder, the dots move up and down the line, and then what will happen as you get further through this, uh, and I'm not going to go the whole way, but as you go further through this, uh, you'll get multiple dots that you have to touch um, on the screen. So let's see if we can get to that point of this demonstration. and. Unfortunately, I have to do this because otherwise you wouldn't see any of the screen. But I know you understand what I'm talking about when this is my thumb on here. And you have to touch it like this. Okay. So nearly finished with this. Okay. What it does, it tells you your time up here. The idea is to do it as quickly as you possibly can, obviously. I think this is the last one before it goes to the multiple dots. So let's just go through this quickly. And you can see that the dots are moving um, different areas on the line. They're not all, and you also have a. It's you don't have a lot of time to touch the dot. The dot will always move, so it's a matter of um, touching the dots as quickly as you can. That's the whole point of the exercise. So the child has to think very, very fast, and it will continue to do this until you uh, complete the level, and the time is uh, obviously continuing. So let's go through this. So I just want to show you the next part. So you can already see how hard this would be, or actually how, how uh, beneficial it would be to get the, the fine motors working. Um, we're nearly there, bear with me, okay. So next level, you see the, the button's got big again, and we have multiple dots. And then we continue, get smaller. And again, time does run out. But you get the idea. I'm not going to go through the whole thing, but, but that basically dot. is the first part of this app. Um, I've gone through the entire thing, and my son has gone through it. He's five uh, on the spectrum, and um, we ha we've obviously not got very far yet, um, but it's challenging, and it is uh, it, very, very exciting to see him do something like this. I've, I've been looking for something like this for a very long time, and I wish they would put this in more into books as well, where kids interact. Let's go back out. Uh, the next one is pinch it, which again is something we all know that the kids uh, need to um, pinch the crabs. Learn to have good fine motor skills before they go into kindergarten or things like that when they're uh, gripping pencils and pens, and especially for kids on the spectrum. Um, so this is another great OT uh, exercise, and basically you just pinch these guys. And it gets harder and harder. There's five levels. You get more crabs. I'm not going to show you all five levels because I think you should 
you should do this yourself. And my hand will be in the way way too much to do that. Um, but they continue and then they start to move around. The next level there's even more of them and then the next level they start to multiply if you're not quick enough. Um, so a lot of exciting things there but it really gets the kids um, you know, using their fingers to pinch these little crabs and get them out of the way. So that's very exciting too. And the last one is a simple um, right it. Use your finger to connect the dots and trace the letter. Now we've been doing this um, not just with our finger but also with the, I think the Targus pen is what it's called um, just to help them learn how to write but obviously this is made for the finger so you basically the idea is to um, you know try to stay on the dots but you don't take your finger off you don't go down and then go around you continue the entire movement until it's Uh, until it's finished and my handwriting looks like my five-year-old right now but um so i think you get the idea you, uh, and if you miss it it's like so if you go off the picture um it doesn't say oh that's okay you can just draw the shape it, it is actually very sensitive to you being on the dots um which is another another very very good thing because there are so many apps out there that don't do that um and they really need to if they're going to teach you how to write because there's not much point if you can uh, you can squiggle all over the place and complete the task. Um, and there's my example of my five-year-old's handwriting. But you can switch letters by just touching up here, any one you want, um, like this. And uh, and that's really what the whole app is about. I am very very excited by this. Um, it's called Dexteria. Develop and assess fine motor skills. Um, one final thing is you can send a full report. This is amazing. Uh, you can email this to their OT person. The OT person can email it home from the lesson. And it goes through the tap it activities. It tells you how fast you were, how many dots, and uh, the time it took you to do the dots. It tells you how many crabs, how long it, how long it took you to pinch the first level of crabs, second level, level of crabs. Um, and so on and then the letters that you completed and the time it took you to complete those those letters it even gives you the date and the time of the exercise so absolutely amazing you press on email and there you go there's your beautiful report of your child's lesson for the day uh, I really like this I don't say this very often about the apps that I review but I really really do like Dexteria